we're going to be taking a goat's temperature. Taking the temperature of an animal is one of the most important things to know how to do and to be able to know how to do it properly. This would go for goats, horses, cows, any animal you own. The temperature of that animal will tell you uh, what is happening inside. And when you know what's happening inside, you can more easily diagnose and, and know how to help the animal. So taking the temperature is something you absolutely need to know how to do. And for a goat, I'm going to show you how to do this. The normal temperature of a goat is between 102 and 103 degrees Fahrenheit. And this would be, you could subtract or add about half a degree on either side of that. And also you'll want to take into account if the animal has just come in, like um, Eva has just come in from the, the field where it's been, it's a hot day and so her temperature might be a little more hot. Or if it's a very cold day, you just take into account what's happening in your area and what the temperature is as well. But when you have a high temperature in an animal, it means usually that there's an infection or they're dehydrated. And that is something that is very important to be aware of. But when their temperature is too low, that means that it's very, very serious. Their organs and their internals are shutting down and they need help immediately. They either need to be taken to a vet or the care that you know how to give them needs to be done quickly and effectively and immediately. So when you are working with your animals, it's, it's important to, if you have a log or a sheet that you can take care of on a regular basis, your animal's temperature and just their, their, the normal way your animal acts, looks, and behaves and their temperature, the things that are normal for them. You need to know what's normal so that you can know exactly quickly what is abnormal. So if you're taking your goat's temperature on a regular basis, you will know and be able to, uh, to, to look at your cheat sheet and say, oh, well, she's normally at 102.5, but right now she's at 105. So this is very serious. So just knowing what your goat is at regularly, it will show you quickly what is going wrong when you can check their temperature. It's important to note that it is easier to get a high temperature down than it is to get a low temperature up. So when again, I can't stress it enough, when your goat has a low temperature, too low of a temperature, act immediately because it's going to be tougher to get that up to a, the normal temperature and to be able to figure out what's wrong and, and to be able to correct that imbalance that's going on inside their body. So when you are around your goats all the time, you will probably be able to quickly see and know when your your goat is not feeling well. You can use your five senses. You can look at them and say, ooh, she's usually not like this. Golly, what's going on? You can hear, is she, or is her rumen, is her rumen working? Is it gurgling? Is it acting and functioning normally? You can smell sometimes. There might be an odd smell coming, going on, or as far as seeing, is, is her poop abnormal? What is going on with, with her feces? Taste, you probably won't be tasting your goat. Um, you can also sometimes see um, on their left side where their rumen is, if it's very bloated and big, you can see so what's going on and, and maybe even be able to feel if it's very um, tight and full of air. So just remember, when you're around your goats, use your five senses all the time and be ready to act quickly. Uh, right now I have one of these that is an automatic temperature, but some may have the, the kind that's the, the glass kind and then you've got to shake down the mercury. Whatever kind you use, you need to clean it off very thoroughly to begin with and after. Always keep it clean and never ever insert a dirty one into the same goat or into another goat. You never also want to insert, you need to be putting it into the right correct hole. We're going to be putting this into the rectum and not the vagina. And so you would never want to put a dirty thermometer into the vagina for sure. But anyway, you always want to keep it very clean. So we're going to clean it off quickly and, and very well. I have some lubricant here. The lubricant will um, help it slide in easily and um, that, that is important just for the comfort of a goat. And, and I have it on then, turning it on. So again, we're going to be looking for 102 and 103. And if that is off in any way, we will be able to figure out and diagnose what's happening next. So I have this here. I'm going to lift up her tail gently. And I'm going to insert it in her rectum. It slides in easily. 
Her temperature is 104, so it is a little high. She did just come in from the, the field and was, it is a very hot day out. Um, so I'm going to continue monitoring her and watching for any signs of more discomfort in any other way. But she was out with the other goat. She wasn't hanging off by herself. That's another thing to watch for. If you have a goat that is off by itself, not interacting with the goats like normal, that is another indicator that you need to be watching for um, very closely. So um, that would be another time that you would want to check their temperature to see what going on. But also if you do have the thermometers that are the glass kind that don't have, that are just you know the long skinny stick, um, you have to be careful not to put it in too far and lose it inside. That, that would be possible and you need to be careful not to do that. So stick it in you know two to two and a half inches inside the goat. And then once you're done taking the temperature, you will wash it off very carefully and um, and very thoroughly. So get it very, very clean. And then it will be ready for the next goat. And once you're done taking the temperature, uh, this is something that I probably need to be reminding myself. It's easy to stick it in your pocket and walk away and then take it out somewhere and, and forget where you put it. So once you're done, if you just put it back in its case and put it away where you know, it, like I use a tackle box here for well, this is my goat medicine box so I'm going to immediately put it away in this box so I know where it is the next time and that is important so put it away where you know you'll find it the next time and now you know how to take the temperature of a goat and you won't have to wonder and worry of what's going on you'll be able to say oh high temperature let's do something or oh dear low temperature let's quickly act Taking the temperature of a goat is easy, it's effective, and it's something that you need to know how to do.